Hi, in this tutorial we are building a full stack TypeScript application. We will be using Node.js, Vue version 3, a PostgreSQL and Tailwind CSS. The idea is to build yet another task management application. So in this tutorial um, we will do a full stack application, which means that we will not only cover the front end, but we will also cover the back end and then we will cover everything in between, how to connect those parts and what else uh, is needed to create you know, a regular web application. So in this first episode, we will start with the visual layer. So we won't be programming per se, we will just design or prototype our application. And for that reason, we will be using this project called Tailwind CSS. So it's a utility-first CSS framework for rapidly building custom designs. And we will see if it really is what it, right? how it's described on the website, if it lives up to this um, description. Tailwind CSS comes with um, a set of predefined uh, building blocks. So instead of writing your CSS by hand, you can just use those uh, blocks, little blocks, and by combining them directly in HTML, you can quickly uh, achieve uh, certain results. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I will do is to create a repository, a directory for our project. So let's call it Tasky. I will open it in VS Code. And now I will be using a plugin called uh, HTML Preview. So it's a plugin by George Oliveira, this one. And it will allow us to have this you know, split screen where we can see the code, HTML, and then the preview. So this will be a little bit quicker than you know, having the browser side by side or even you know, switching between them. So the first thing I need to do to design the app, I need HTML, an HTML file. So we will start with index. And here I will use a snippet I, I have configured. So it's a very simple uh, snippet. What's different about it is already it already comes with a Tailwind CSS as a link, as the link tag. Normally when you're building an app, you shouldn't use uh, this uh, way of including a C, uh, Tailwind CSS because it includes everything. It's a very large file. And in production, the idea is to use only what you need. So you need to analyze your pages and exclude everything what's all those blocks you are not using and then it becomes very small. But we are prototyping so we can use it because it's simpler than you know configuring everything. And I also include Alpine.js, but we won't be needing that. And I think Tyrant is now 4, 4 or 4, 5, we'll see. So now if I open this HTML preview, I should have um, the, uh, the website uh, side by side. So if I say something, it works. So now let's prototype our task management, our beautiful task management that will uh, become the best one <laughs> among uh, all those task managers out there. So in order to, to create a task management, we would need a list of tasks and then we would need an input field where we can uh, enter a new task. Uh, so that's the bare minimum we could imagine, I think. So let's try to do that. So first I will uh, use an input. So yeah, we can now uh, you know, enter some text here and uh, let's use um, you know three tasks like that. So task one, task two, and task three. Something like that. Each task should have a checkbox. <clears throat> so for that, we will just a checkbox here like that. very quickly okay so it doesn't look nice yet so let's try to use some tailwind css magic um, to make it a little bit more uh, pretty 
So first thing, let me go here and let's make a padding. So I will use P8. So you know I have this padding around. And let's use the background color of gray 100. So let's focus on this task uh, input now. So let's try to make it a little bit more appealing. So again, we will use class and we will maybe add some padding like that. Maybe we will do the inside a little bit darker. We could maybe do some margin between the input field and the list of tasks. Let's maybe do it full size. Let's add some border. Like so. And let's add a shadow inner. So we have this nice effect, you know, not sure if it's visible, but uh, it starts looking nicer. So now let's add the button to add new tasks. So add. And it would be nice to place it, you know, in the, on the same line as, as the input. So for that, we would need to wrap uh, this into a flex container like that. So we already have it there. Let's improve the button a little bit. So BG gray 500 or something like that. Uh, so let's add some padding. And let's place it directly on the right. Something like of that sort with some right margin and let's add some shadow okay um, let's add some margin here okay so it starts looking pretty nice so the problem now is to have this uh, input it takes the the whole um, width of the page so i would like to make it a little bit shorter so i will wrap it into another container and this is a container called max uh, w2xl and now it's um, it's shorter so it would be nice to place it in the in the center of the page so i will use m auto margin auto so now it's um, properly placed and the same goes for the task so we need to just place them below over here as yeah here we can add some margin top so the input is already nice let's take care of the tasks now so let's make them white and let's add some padding and let's make some let's add some shadow so it looks a little bit nicer and let's make them rounded like that so it start looking nice we can also add some Maybe even to margin bottom and if we replace that it's better so now let's replace this default checkbox with something nicer so we will use svg for that to replace this this uh, checkbox character so i already have it ready i will post it somewhere in the in the links uh, so it looks like that it's very simple and we will hide the existing one and we will wrap it into another container say bg white like that it starts to look the way we want it so let's make it rounded a little bit and the proper size create a label and I will wrap this whole thing and we will do flex here we will make the text a little bit on the left 
Okay, I was wondering what's wrong. <laughs> I made a type here, so this should be class. Looks better. Okay, so we have this, but we cannot click it. And I need to add a small hack here. So if I have input checked plus SVG, which is the situation here, um, I will have the ability to display this uh, character, the check character as SVG. And it's not properly aligned. I should um, add something like that. Yeah, okay, perfect. So now I would need to copy all that three times. Let's remove those other. Let's remove those. Let's change those other. Yeah, so it looks pretty nice. Yeah, so we could maybe you know, improve a little bit padding. And you can continue working on this like that, prototyping and you know, adding those, combining those different classes. As you can see, we haven't written a single line of CSS, except maybe this little uh, piece over here uh, to make this combination of input and SVG a block, which is to make those checkboxes a little bit nicer than the, the default ones. Besides that, we haven't really touched CSS and we just we're, we're adding predefined classes. So once you know the meaning of those classes, you can be relatively quick with uh, doing it. And we have, I would say, a good result. Uh, we have relatively nice, coherent uh, UI. The only thing left is to make it interactive and we will do that in the next episode. So this episode was a little bit slow. It wasn't maybe super exciting. But at the same time, um, we achieved something nice. And the more you use this, this method, the more you know have elements on your page, you start to see how easy it is to manage that. It's not necessarily easy to you know understand everything at once, but uh, it's easy to manage and to change, adapt uh, things on your pages. So we will see that as the app evolves. But for now, I will stop here. In the next episode, we will add Vue.js to the mix. And finally, we will also do the programming. So we will create an app and um, connect this prototype HTML page within the context of a TypeScript application. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.